Hello everyone, my name is Jason from shishainuk.co.uk and The Sampling Room and today I'm bringing you another episode of The Sampling Room. Right, as promised, what I am doing is my top 2016 tobaccos. As I said in the previous video, because I did my, was it top uh, 2016 dips in the last video. I know it's a couple of months mate, but I wanted to have a really good think about it to actually make sure I got it right. Now these aren't particularly, uh, particularly uh, the ones that um, were necessarily new or anything like that last year. It was just the ones I preferred for last year as my taste buds are constantly changing day by day. And what I liked you know, the, in 2015, Ask me, there's been a cut of blends I can't stand for 2016, so they're constantly changing. I'm always changing my mind. Right, let's get this one lit up. A little bit of housekeeping. You can see it. Come on, focus, you arsehole. There we are. It's my Alpacia or Alpacica, whatever you want to say it. However you want to say it. Curvy is actually the new 9mm version and it's also a reverse calabash. Very nice little stubby pipe. Now I'm smoking. I'll start off um, with one of the ones from my list. The ye old signy. Don't say it like that. It's actually the old sign. Um, by Dunhill. One of their newly released, well re-released blends from God knows how long ago it was originally came out, but it's obviously it came off the market and it's now back on the market. Now, these, these tobaccos aren't necessarily in any particular order. <laughs> Wait a minute, Yeah. Yeah, they're not in a particular order, but these are the ones I actually fancied in 2016. Oh, and I'm also drinking a nice glass of white wine. For crying out loud, what was it? I don't know, some white wine from South Africa. It's actually really nice. It's called White Gold, lovely. Goes really well with this tobacco as well. So, got it all written down here, yeah, so I don't fluff it up. All right, so one of them was the Esoterica, the Anso to Bed Blends. Lovely blend that. Um, as I say, it's from Esoterica, so it's quite hard to get hold of. But it's particularly, I think it's supposed to be one of those blends that you literally have it before you go to bed because it's so strong. I didn't find it that strong. In fact, I actually took it on some nights out. Lovely blend. Yeah, absolutely lovely blend that one is. Not forgetting, actually one I originally got into the start of last year um, by Samuel Gulwith. It is called Cabby's Mixture. Now this is a, I think it's a vapor, Virginia Perique. Um, it does kind of, it looks like a miniature version of luxury bullseye flake, but it's actually really tiny, these little coins. Um, quite spicy, so it must be a vapor. I don't think it's got any uh, Cavendish in this one, like um, bullseye flake has. But it is really tasty blend. And so I think I started smoking that about January, February last year. Oh, that was beautiful. I haven't, I haven't got one open at the moment because I smoked it all. But I do have one actually closed in my cellar ready to go. One I actually bought near Christmas last year. Um, I pretty much smoked it all within uh, a couple of weeks. It's really, really nice and it's got a really nice smell. I don't normally like aromatics, but this one's an aromatic. It's from Boswell's Tobacco. Now this obviously you only can get this online, especially if you're in the UK. You can buy it from the shop there, but it's only one little small shop. It's called Boswell's, nearly said the wrong one. Boswell's co Cookie, it's like a Christmas cookie. I do have Cupgate written down here, but I do like that one as well. But I actually wrote the wrong one, wrote the wrong one, writ, wrote the wrong one down. I actually like cookie better, it's like a Christmas cookie. It tastes just like it. A lot of uh, van vanilla flavours. Um, what else is it? A lot of vanilla flavours. Obviously biscuity style flavours as well. Very, very tasty. And it doesn't burn hot, even in the slightest. Proper nice, proper nice smoke that. And it's really nice smell to it. So whoever you smoke it around, just be <sighs> rather than <sighs> like that. So yeah, very nice. 
And another one on the list, it has to be on here. There's another Esoterica blend, Penzance. I do still have that. I've got a nice big eight ounce one. I'm probably only about a third of the way through. Very nice one, especially obviously in the autumn winter time. Lovely. Yeah, so Esoterica Penzance. Um, an equivalent one, obviously, if you can't get hold of Esoterica, because this is obviously my, my JF, was it J, yeah, JF Germains, which are shipped out just to America. Then, you obviously, if you're in the UK, you've got to have it shipped back in through like four noggins or something like that. Mm. Nice. But um, if you can't get hold of that, another reasonably equivalent one is Cornell and Deal Star of the East Lake. Now that, I actually, I've had it in a tin for quite a while. I only opened it, was it only a couple of weeks ago and I tasted it and I was like, oh, I might like that better <laughs> than Penzance. Very, very nice blend though. But it's slight, I think it's got the slight edge on it. I think it's got slightly more bitey. It's not as smooth, I think. Don't quote me on that. But if you want something that's quite equivalent, it's got the same type of crumble cake style flake look to it, and it's quite nice. But yeah, Esoterica Penzance, that was a good one for last year. Also one that I pretty much absolutely destroyed a tin of pretty quickly in the summer, because it is quite a summer tobacco. It's Dunhill Flake, just their normal flake. Lovely tobacco. As you might know, um, if you've seen my previous videos, I do suffer from tongue bite quite badly. So that's definitely one for people that suffer from tongue bite who want a, just a nice straight Virginia. It might have a touch of Perique in it, don't quote me on that. But it is just very, very nice, very smooth, doesn't bite. But I do have it in, basically it's a typical filter pipe anyway, but I don't necessarily have to. It's very rare, I mean, even with Latakia flakes, that I don't have to have it in a filter pipe, but that is very nice. Now, one of my all-time favorites, always has been, since I started, well, a little bit after I started smoking a pipe, but not far after, was GQ, blends breakfast blend unfortunately uh, you know if you can get your hands on this get it Bollocks. get it because obviously they're out of business now which is an absolute shame for glenn um well it's bloody awful actually for him um because he did do some dogs bollocks blends and that was one of my utter favorites and breakfast blend i mean that's a perfect description of it it's very breakfasty it's kind of tastes like i don't know if it's all in my head but um kind of like Kind of like a burnt egg taste, burnt fried egg taste, <laughs> with a bit of bacon on the side maybe. Very nice. Definitely got to give that a go from getting, very spicy though, very spicy. But that's a good thing, kind of like a black pepper spice, black and white pepper spice maybe. <sighs> good, all down me now. Mash that off, there we go. Another one. Another Jermaine's blend, JF Jermaine's. Best brown flake. It's not. Don't be, don't confuse this with the medium flake. This is best brown flake. This is the unaromatic blend. Beautiful blend. It kind of looks like it's a flake, but then you can't pull it out the tin. It looks like shredded wheat. It really looks like kind of like a, a damp shredded wheat look. Absolutely beautiful. Normally, I mean, I I can't wait to get onto the next blend. I mean, even with some of my favourite blends of all time, I can't wait to get to the next blend. But that one. I just hung on to it and just kept on smoking it and didn't realise until it went. I was like, oh, bugger. And that went within about a week and a half. It's very rare for me to smoke it that quick. Very nice though. So yeah, to recap, And So To Bed by Esoterica, Cabby's Mixture by Samuel Gulwith, Boswell's, cup, not Cupcake, the Boswell's Cookie, Esoterica Penzance, Dunhill Flake, GQ Blends Breakfast Blend, Best Baron Flake by Jermaine's, and now next one is Mississippi Mud Pie. Oh, don't forget uh, this one I'm smoking, which is the old sign. The next one is uh, Mississippi Mud Pie. Now we'll get this for you. Bear with me two seconds. I want to show you this one. I don't bother showing you the rest of the other ones because they're 
the tobacco, it, it looks they all relatively the same, but unless I've described it. But this one, I can really struggle to describe it. If you can see it, very weird look to it. I'll open this up. And the reason you can't see it very well is because it is literally that black. And it tastes as such, I mean, it is mud. I mean, not, but I know that sounds bad, but it's not that actually a bad thing. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, it's a love it or hate it blend. It's very Marmite. Doesn't taste like Marmite, but it's Marmite. Um, you do love it or you hate it. It is strong. Kind of Latakiri, but you know, I don't like Cavendish, but I think it's got Cavendish in it. It's got a ton of different things in it, and it's a perfect winter smoke. Perfect winter smoke. It's very warming as well, but crikey, does it stink? I mean, <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, I've kind of smoked it and come back in the room, and even I've gone, oh, you know, like that, and it's that, that strong, but it's lovely. Pretty high nicotine as well. I don't get bothered about nicotine, but every now and then I have got a bit of a buzz off that. So yeah, start with a small one, um, small like bowl of it initially, and work your way up, just in case it's a bit of a shock to you. One of the strongest I've had, I mean nightcap is not, a well, nightcap isn't really strong anyway, but that is just, whew, it's got some kick behind it. And last but not least, my number one tobacco. And pff, don't think this would ever change. Pff. Balkan Sobrani, and again, I think that's by J.F. Germains as well. Again, you can't get that in the UK, Pfft, don't know why. Um, you pretty much can only get that from the States. What a shame, because I'll tell you what, it is the dog's bollocks latter here ever. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like your standard Dunhill Germains type of just normal ribbon cut, but it's freaking beautiful. So, so smooth. One thing I will say though is don't have it open too long because even if you put it in a sealed jar, I don't think it ages very well. I think age if you want to age it, just keep it in the tin. Don't unseal it. I think that I'm starting to get a bit of uh, slight bitterness from it. It might be a couple of my pipes getting a bit bitter, but I think the flavors are starting to go a bit. I mean, it does dry out. I mean, like that, because when you open the tin, it's perfect. Maybe even just a little slightly dry out of the tin. So make sure. Obviously, if you want to smoke it, you smoke it there and then. It's not one to dilly-dally over unless you've got a really good sealed jar. And not even talking about these style jars, because I've got a lot of these jars, and that one is even going dry in that. And I've put a bit in a normal screw top jar. It's even going dry in that as well. And I've even put those little humidification tablets in for, um, for pipe tobacco, still going dry. So yeah, if you can get some, definitely try it. Even if you have to get it on eBay or whatever, if you have to do it that way, just get some. Keep, an, keep your eye out on fournoggins.com. They often, well not often, but that tends to be one of the suppliers for that. The same with Esoterica as well. They tend to be a good one for that. Lovely. But yeah, this is the old sign. It goes really well on a nice white wine. Most of those tobaccos that I have there go well in a nice, um, nice, like robust ale, like a dark porter or a multi beer or something like that. But I think this one goes really well with a nice white wine, nice like a like an ice creamy, vanilla y type white wine. Very nice. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Keep your eyes out. There's another. Um, what did I recently do? I think it was a dip video. I think I've done dip video, which will be actually on live. Uh, which will be live after this, probably about a week-ish after, something like that. I, I was quite half cut at the time, so it takes a lot of editing to make sure I don't look too prattish. Well, any more than I normally do. But yeah, so thank you very, very much for watching. If you've got any ideas, what you, anything you want to like to review, if I have it in, I'll review it. Any dips, any snuffs, any uh, pipes, cigars, shishas, things like that. Anything like that you want to review, stick it down in the little box down there. Please keep an eye out. I'll be having a few more videos coming up quite soon. So thank you very much for watching. You have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe as well to keep up to date. Cheers then. Bye.